number one Iron Age booty daddy. In one of the most recent updates that Wizards of the Coast came out with for Dungeons and Dragons, they unknowingly decided that apparently if your mom is, you know, one race and your dad is another race, that is in fact racist in their game. You are not in fact allowed to come from two very different, as they call it, species backgrounds, but they used to be called races in the game. And I have some thoughts and opinions on that. But without any further ado, let's go over to the Bounding Into Comics article and see exactly what's going on. So as always, I won't be going through the entire article, but I will be going through enough of the article to get uh, the idea here. But in their latest step forward, and this is Dungeons and Dragons, this is by Spencer Bakku. Hey, what's going on, Spencer? How are you? I hate last names. In their latest step forward on their long march to Lost Prophets, Wizards of the Coast has revealed that they will be removing the concept of half species from the Dungeons and Dragons players handbook on the grounds that they are not comfortable, including an inherently racist concept in the game. Now, if this, now, if they would have said, we're going to get rid of half species because we feel that it tends to clog the idea of game mechanics up and you start getting too many mechanics in there, they probably could have gone with that, but they decided with the racist route. Okay. The forthcoming update was announced publicly at the recent D&D Creator Summit, an event wherein Wizards of the Coast gathered a number of notable personalities ranging from game developers to content creators and provided them with a sneak peek at the Dungeons and Dragons upcoming release. <clears throat> Following a rocky start to the summit marred with various te technical difficulties, uh, technical technical difficulty issues. The publisher eventually hosted a demo of their upcoming D&D virtual tabletop, after which D&D Lead Rules designer uh, Jeremy Crawford, senior story designer uh, Chris Perkins, and studio art director Josh Herman appeared for a Q&A session with attendees. Okay, eventually, <clears throat> the post-demo Q&A turned into the topic of Wizards of the Coast ongoing efforts to sanitize D&D, beginning with the question about how exactly publishers make use of their sensitivity readers. We don't send everything to the same people all the time, Crawford explained of their uh, content review process per the summary event, okay? Different reviewers have different areas of expertise and experience. Everything gets sent to at least two people, sometimes more. Uh, the old inclusion review process has whole, had holes in it because they would only send out uh, what they thought would be a problem. Now everything is sent out, so we aren't guessing what might be a problem. Well, yes, you actually are guessing what is and is not a problem by saying like you're literally sending it to people. And the idea here is that these people are going to guess at what they think uh, the problem is because they are looking at it from only their perspective and not the perspective of the whole of the people who are going to be buying your stuff, right? So that's inherently the issue right there. Our team, our game designer storytellers, we're not experts in culture and inclusion. Okay, nobody is an expert in any of those things at all. <clears throat> and the reason being, again, is because people want to focus on the individual thing and culture is actually <clears throat> uh, the group of people, right? A group of people from various ge geographic locations. See, culture and inclusion isn't based on skin tone or anything like that. It's actually based on geographic location, but uh, that would be too hard for them. So we're now focused on the damage. This, uh, <clears throat> the, uh, So we're focused on what damage uh, could this creature do? That's why everything goes through inclusion review now so everything in our games brings out delight. Even reprints are going through inclusion review. That's why some older books are changing too. And this is why you need to have the physical copies of the things that they are doing. Okay, we get a full report. So they go through all of this, okay? Frankly, we're not comfortable and haven't been for years with any of the options that start with half, he explained. The half construction is inherently racist. So we simply aren't going to include it in the new player's handbook. So this right here is the troubling thought because again, they are using people in the real world to basically stipulate what they think is or is not a problematic thing to talk about, right? You're not allowed to talk about someone's genealogy anymore, right? So genealogy, effectively what they're saying here 
is that the idea of a mixed race individual, because that's exactly what this is, is inherently racist. And the idea of recognizing somebody's background and where their parents came from, and maybe possibly the struggles that they came from, is inherently racist. So if you have a Middle Eastern father and maybe a, <clears throat> a French mother, you are not allowed to recognize in any way that those people lived different backgrounds, thusly saying that their lived experience does not matter. Ladies and gentlemen, if I am not mistaken, this is eerily close to that bad man from WW2 and what he thought. This is a very dangerous ideology. And one of the things that I really want to touch on here is this isn't how these people look at their game world. This is how they look at the real world because they're trying to make sure that the real world and the game world cannot be separated. It must be accurate to the real world, even though orcs and elves and all that stuff don't exist. They're fictional creatures. Although they would tell you, right? They would tell you that orcs are just a, a, a metaphor for, for black people, which is categorically wrong. Orcs are not. Orcs are, in fact, a metaphor for evil, not black people at all in any way or shape or form because it comes from Tolkien that's kind of where orcs come from but by saying this by saying that the half by for instance there's a thing here half orcs you are no longer allowed to recognize that somebody is half of one thing and half of another so you are not allowed to recognize in their game world mixed race people right because it's problematic to recognize someone's heritage it's problematic to recognize the backgrounds of where you come from. And you have to ask the question, why? Why is it problematic to recognize the genealogy of where people are from? To understand that everybody in the world has come from a different part. Now, me personally, understanding you know where a lot of my genealogy comes from i understand that my ancestors were actually like beaten and brutally like killed and enslaved by my other ancestors right the irish and the english there's kind of a sordid history there right oh i also have some french in me too and boy how do you want to start getting into the french and the english Whew. yeah the, those guys definitely hated each other but it doesn't matter because i'm a heinz 57 blend of the whitest stuff on the planet right but to sit there and say that mixed races are inherently racist and recognizing someone of mixed race because that's exactly what they're saying here right they don't like recognizing that somebody is of a mix of anything they even put elves here too half elves are not allowed to recognize that people have a history a family lineage because that is inherently wrong That's terrifying. That's utterly terrifying. And if this idea that you are no longer allowed to recognize those that came before you keeps infecting our culture, it will be more commonplace in the years to come for people to forget and not remember. I like they, I mean, even worse so now than they already are that so many people throughout history were beaten and abused by so many different people throughout history. You see the biggest thing on the planet that people have always fought over, it wasn't the color of your skin. It was more so the territory or the resources that you possessed. So ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you guys think down below about Wizards of the Coast absolutely nuking their product even further like just when you think that they can't go more into like they're not even rolling nat ones anymore they don't even know how to play the game anymore they're done wizards of the coast by driving this ideology through and through i think they are getting to the point where people are really going to start recognizing that this is an absolutely corrosive disease of the mind so in the comments down below, I want you to tell me, do you know some of your family history? And what are some fun things from your family history that you happen to know about? The places that you're from? 
Tell me about you, because guess what? That stuff, your history, it does matter. Your parents' history, the things that they went through, how they came together to make you, that does matter. And so unlike Dungeons and Dragons, I'm gonna make sure to teach my children that everything that led up to that person becoming who they are today matters. So if you guys like what I'm doing here on A Drink With Crazy, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell for me, and comment down below and let me know some of your personal family histories that you grew up and you like talking about. And never forget that if you guys do comment down below, I do a special live stream every single Sunday. It's called Sunday Coffee. It's at 11 a.m. Central. And that's where I go and I read all of your comments because I feel that if you're gonna dedicate time to me, I'm gonna dedicate it right back. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for being here. And until next time, cheers everybody. Thank you all so much for checking out this video and I would ask, beg, borrow, and steal just to get you to click the link to my gilded and buy a drink with crazy dot locals down in the description below. You see, I'm trying to build a fantastic community over there of people who are coming up with brand new fantastic stories as well as fans of those stories. Thank you all so much and I'll see you there.